I thought maybe you started at like 12.30. I don't start at noon, bro. I wait till 12.30 at least. I don't need all day to get 12.01 is really quick and efficient with it. You've got it figured out? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, whatever, Eddie. You use accelerants. You have assistance. That's not fair. It's not fair. Okay, guys. We're going to go ahead and fire this off here. All right, guys. Amarillo Rocks, uh, this uh, weekend we've got the Amarillo Housing Foundation Benefit at Leftwoods. It's called AHF Code Blue Warming Station Benefit slash Music Shelters. Uh, we've got a few of the artists who are going to be performing on this thing. Uh, we're waiting on a phone call come in from uh, somebody from AHF. President. Uh, and from the president. Yeah. So Jenny's the president now? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay, so Chris isn't with it anymore, right? No, apparently not. Okay, okay, cool. Um, so, uh, we've got Brian Wynn, Brian Wynn with Radio Band. We've got Gordo. <laughs> Sorry. What, what the hell is your last name? McGraw. I'm just Gordo, dude. I'm like Pele. Come on. I've known you for years. He doesn't have a last name. Dude. Uh, <laughs> Justin Harmon from the J-Trial Band. Uh, These two guys are in... They have the same band the radio, twice. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, they share a uh, guitar player. It's a big and, menage a trois. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and everything. We share and, everything. Uh, and then, of course, we've got the lovely and talented oh, Eddie yeah. Essler, who's been uh, who's been in the scene for a very long time. Uh, he's been with, uh, Jesus Christ, you've been with Turbine. Turbine. Big one. Yeah, Eddie Turbine. The Eddie and the Eat. Eddie and the Eat. Played with Pie Lake for a little bit. Oh, far out. Um, really? Mm -hmm. When was that? I filled in for Alex when he went in, when he got in the motorcycle uh, class. Yeah. Dude, you want to hear a funny story? Yeah. <laughs> Alex, Alex used to live here. Really? Oh, he was a little it. kid, dude. Holy shit. Yeah, he grew up in this house. Really? Yeah, man. He and uh, I don't remember they, they, saying they, that. They showed up at a party what we had here late one night. You guys are going to hear a lot about this. Uh, <laughs> so, like, when he was a little kid, him and his brother Zach, uh, they, they poured a concrete pad out there, and his name's in the concrete, dude. He showed up at this party one night, like, I mean, he stepped out of her car, and he was, like, freaking out, just weirded out. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, dude, what's going on with you, you know? And he's like, man, I grew up in this house. Oh, man. And I was like, seriously? That's <laughs> so I showed what are you doing in my bedroom. mom's bedroom? <laughs> no, man. You don't want to know what I'm doing in your mom's bedroom. <laughs> anyway, I showed him, I showed him like the, him and his brother's names oh. in the concrete, and it says Dad loves Alex and stuff. Man, you know, I miss Alex. Alex was a sweet guy. Yeah, he was, he was a, a hell of a guy. Yeah, great. yeah, we miss that dude. Anywho, uh, <clears throat> back to business. Uh, so this benefit show, did you get, did you get to her on the phone? Yeah, um, I'm ready to call her back whenever you're ready. Go ahead and put her on. We're just going to leave her on speaker. Okay. Pull it out and show us. Uh, while we're waiting on that, uh, some of the so the show is January twenty sixth. That's this coming Saturday at Leftwoods. Uh, I know the first band goes on at seven. Uh, when do the doors or when does the when does the thing start? Six. 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 So, so we're going to come in at six. Uh, what kind of things are going to be going on? During the show, besides the live music, there's like a live rap silent auction. There's like going to be a silent auction. We've been procuring a bunch of random things. We've got some paintings. Um, some, I think she's starting to nail down a bunch of like uh, uh, gift cards for, like we got the AO6. We got a couple of restaurants. We're talking to the Red Roof Inn, trying to get a couple of nights. I'm That's not sure. We're trying to bundle some things together, and you know, you know, try to you know create them up some opportunities for people to have a good you know a good time after this scenario. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. 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 Uh, some of the bands appearing are uh, Dude Man, it's a newer band, that's uh, uh, Mikey Blackwell from Western Plaza is in oh, that nice. band. Uh, Elton Nate, uh, one of the bartenders that left, he's in that band. Uh, Eddie Essler, Jay Trial, Brian Wynn, the radio band, my band Loudmouth Lisa's playing. Uh, interesting, uh, Dim Tone Junkies, that's Cameron Hurd, mm -hmm. uh, who used to be the proprietor at Leftwoods. Uh, it's going to be his band, it's a great Those band. Guys are always band. Them. Yeah. They're great. Yeah. And then, sure. uh, Especially being, he, he's had to be a strong individual. He is, yeah, yeah, he, he, yeah, and he's 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 a great performer. Uh, and then after the kiddies go to bed, we've got Jocelyn Plums, who's going to be doing uh, burlesque and sideshow and God knows what all. Uh, and it's a good time. It's a good. It's a good show. Uh, now, Jenny, you still on the phone? I am. Okay, let's see if we can catch that audio a little better closer to the mic. So, Jenny, tell me uh, tell me a little bit about uh, Emerald Housing first. Well, I. Uh we 
Oh, I'm sorry, what was that? You're breaking oh. up. I mean, is that better? There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Don't okay. move. Sorry about that. I was trying to work on with speakerphone. Yeah, we're, we're recording um, live right now, Jenny. First, uh, we do a lot of work with the local chronically homeless population. Um, our main function is um, trying to help people reestablish their identity and um, get into housing. Awesome. And then help them maintain that housing. But we also have some other projects that we do, like the HOPE program, which is a homeless work program, and then the Code Blue Warming Station which is what this benefit is for. Awesome. Now, what is the Code Blue Warming Station? Code Blue Warming Station is a alternative place for folks to go who can't go, who, who they're homeless, who don't have um, access to the traditional shelters. So if a individual owns a pet and they don't want to be separated from it, or if they're a couple and they don't want to be split up, because most of the shelters will split couples up. Wow. Um, yeah. If they um, have, you know, like a mental illness and are afraid of um, being in large crowds or if they are um, just not a fan of the shelters for some reason, whatever reasons, we, we don't care what the reasons are, whatever the reasons are, they can come to Code Blue on the extremely cold winter nights like last night and tonight. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Tomorrow night looks like it's going to be another Code Blue night. Oh, um, wow. And we've got um, warm <laughs> spaces for them to come. We're able to give them blankets some pillows if they want to try to get some rest. We don't have actual cots. Um, we're not a shelter. But right, right. But we are a warm space that has food and coffee and um, coloring books and card games and television and, and just, just some activities to keep people out of the weather. This place to get in and out of the cold, you know, shelter is uh, it's an important thing. What you guys do is amazing. I know the city of Amarillo hasn't necessarily been all that forgiving on uh, some of these uh, places, and uh, uh, it's really good to hear that there are some Samaritans out there that, that provide a service like this uh, to help these folks out. You know, everybody uh, gets on a hard time sometimes, and... Uh, you know, sometimes you don't know where to go, and that's, I think what you guys do is awesome. I've done, I've played several uh, AHF shows, you know, uh, my band has, and I've, you know, you guys have done uh, benefits at other places, and uh, it always feels good, you know, to give something back, you know, I mean, uh, in, and uh, we really appreciate what you do, Jenny. Well, we really appreciate you guys supporting us. Um, we could not do this without the support of the community, and um, I mean, seriously, the majority of our donations, um, to be able to help people get into housing, to be able to furnish their housing, um, to run Code Blue Warming Station. We're all volunteers, and all of the supplies that we use are donations from the community. So um, we are very, very grateful to Amarillo and to all of our supporters that, that help contribute, whether it's through actually making a donation or uh, material goods or their time or, you know, just sharing what we do with other people so that more people are aware um there's a great need here in our city and we're trying to meet it and um you know like you said anyone can fall on hard times we've heard so many right. different stories about how people ended up homeless um <laughs> you know people that have master's degrees um, yeah very educated people that still fell on hard times and weren't able to pull out of it without a little bit of help from you, you know I've got a link to your uh, your Facebook page. Do you guys have any other online presence? Is there a place to do online dono donations as well? Yeah, um, we um, we do have a web page. It's not. It needs a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it, it is up there and on the web. It's AmarilloHousingFirst.org, and um, you can make a donation from that web page or um, from our Facebook page. You can hit donate, and then we also have a PayPal um, that you can. Um, Send oh, you. excellent. And that would be Emerald Housing First at uh, gmail.com okay. is the email address that's associated with that. So awesome. you can access that, I think, from our webpage and then also, oh, like I said, the Facebook page, I think, connects to that as well. Great. So. Hey, Jenny, we're friends on Facebook. Would you shoot me links to both of those things? And I'll make sure to put them in the links uh, underneath sure, the sure. Uh, podcast. I'd appreciate it. I oh. would definitely do that. And oh. thank you for. Yeah. That. I, I appreciate you coming on the show. I know you know the, the call in is a little weird, but uh, you know I, I wanted uh, somebody from from AHF to you know just uh, right. have well, a I'm sorry there. I couldn't be there in person. We're actually going to have another Code Blue activation tonight. Oh, and I see. The 
annual point in time count, which um, is kind of a census of what our homeless population is in our area, that starts tonight at midnight. So we're doing preparations for that, and it's just right. crazy busy this week. <laughs> okay, well, well, we won't take up any more of your time. Jenny, thanks so much for hanging out with us. So I'm going to talk to these crazy guys here for a second, talk a little bit about their music and what's going to go on this weekend, okay? Okay, great. Right. Thank you so much for letting us, for, for having the benefit and for letting us talk. Right. Thanks, Jenny. <laughs> right. We'll right. see you. Thank ya. you. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. All right. So that was Jenny, uh, Jenny Trice from uh, Amarillo Housing First. Uh, we appreciate everything that she's doing here. So what we're going to do now is uh, kind of uh, shoot the breeze with these guys, uh, you know, Let's, let's talk to Brian first. Brian, you're kind of new to me. I'm kind of new to you. Uh, you know, I know you and I are old, uh, old punk rock guys, and uh, you kind of uh, switch gears on people a little bit. So let's let's talk about your music a little bit. What do you what do you uh, what do you got going on these days? Uh, style wise, yeah, man. I mean, it's like I mean, there's there's some fuck yous in it. Yeah. There's still some punk rock in it, <laughs> if, if, if we can say that. You're uh, probably the most tattooed country guy here in town. <laughs> well, I wouldn't go as far as saying country. Uh, <laughs> uh, Where I come from, your country. Right, right. right. No, 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 I understand. Uh, the, the music now with my younger brother, uh, Dane, who plays fiddle uh, in our, in my band, <clears throat> he was the one that kind of came up to me and he was like, hey, you know, stop shelving these songs that are more songwriter folk yeah. type things and, and re really bring them out. And it wasn't until me and Justin and Colin and Fish got together to where everybody's kind of influences right. from the different things and, and a lot of it was punk rock and you know a lot of it was also more outlaw country type stuff kind right. of come in and then Colin our bass player he comes in with these jazz and funk ideas that then change shit around you know player? and Colin Judd Colin okay Colin yeah, he's yeah, like yeah. this happy 12, birthday Colin yeah happy birthday <laughs> happy birthday buddy he, he turns Is 20 today his birthday 22 oh, today yeah, yeah. Uh, he uh, he's like 12 or 22 <laughs> whatever <laughs> But he, he comes he in, he, had, he has these really cool bass riffs and some funk to it, and it's, I don't know, it's evolved from the stuff that you hear on the, the acoustic EP into this, like, it's, it's Americana rock. Right, it's, right. Definitely has an edge to it. Some shit I'm going to scream, and some shit's going to sound real <laughs> kind of country, yeah. I guess, I don't know. Now you and Justin basically mm -hmm. sort of share a band. Justin, tell me a little bit about what you do. We do a lot of, uh, you know, upbeat covers and mix them in with our own originals, kind of 90s edge, but nice. more influenced with jazz and funk. Same deal. We ended up with Colin in our band as well. He bring he kind of changed the tone of what we do in a positive way. You guys do a lot of shows together? Like We do. We've bands. done a lot of shows, combined bands, but then we've also, you know. Super easy to have an opener. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. you're like, hey, let's just switch drummers, yeah. you know, like. <laughs> switch <laughs> drummers, <laughs> switch <laughs> the door that time <laughs> One drummer goes off, a singer goes to the drums, we're good to go, yeah. yeah exactly. Fair enough. So it's a lot of fun. It's it's guys do that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, yeah. You know, you've been around for a while now, man. I remember you were just you doing... Home? Man, I took a long break from music, and it was Dave Regal along with you and a couple other local musicians that kind of pushed me over the edge, like, hey, man, just knock the rest off and do it. Yeah, yeah, You'd yeah. be happier that way, and I did, and yeah, dude. we all were right. So <laughs> glad you did, man. No doubt. Now, Eddie has been around for a thousand years, too. I've, <laughs> God, I've known you for... 15 years yeah, or more, man. Right in there. Yeah. yeah. Um, Eddie's been with a shitload of bands. Uh, I wonder if I'm going to have to beep that. No, I'm not going to beep anything. Oh, okay, uh, so, you know, you used to be with Turbine. You've been with The Eat. Uh, you know, you told me about some of these other bands you mm -hmm. played with. Uh, yeah. What do you got going on these days? Uh, this will be um, uh, three piece, kind of, kind of bluegrassy songwriter ish. Uh, it'll be me with a dobro and fiddle player. Oh, nice. Yeah. And, uh, but it, it, it's definitely high energy too. Cool. You know, it's not it's not all just kind of slow. We kind of we could we could do that if we wanted to. I met them out at, the, at uh, an old country jam out at um, uh, the Range Riders. They, we do a jam out there, every, right. and it's like they were the only two under sixty, and <laughs> <laughs> and so they had, they're really good. They make anything sound pretty. So I mean, it, we That's just cool. yeah, yeah about a year ago sure. we started playing and. And now it's kind of picked up and grown. In. I just was doing it to have lead players so I wouldn't have to play harmonica or anything that much. And, right. and it's kind of grown into its own little its own little deal um, without practice or intending on it happening. And just kind of through playing shows, it's kind Keep of grown. Music and, and let it organically just grow. Yeah. yeah I love that. Yeah. Dude. So it's, it's kind of turned into its own little dude, deal. Dude, you've been here so many times. We've had so many crazy acoustic jams on the porch. <laughs> 
I remember the cops getting called on us. We had yeah. two like groups of acoustic <laughs> grand. You know, the, the cops just showed up, opened the door. They're just like, really. <laughs> yeah. Don't you love, right, don't you love when the cops get called on acoustic jam? I know. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. 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 It was either that or the fifty people. And then I come storming out of the bathroom yelling at someone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. okay. Oh, that's who. That's who got the cops called. Gordo, <laughs> tell me a little bit about how uh, how Left was got involved in this deal. Well, we've had our feelers out for a minute, uh, trying to figure out uh, what we can do to help the community, and there's been. You know, one thing here, one thing there, but they, the, these Code Blue people came directly to us. I'm going to tell you first. You know, we talked uh, on Facebook. Uh, my wife Becky did a lot with that. And uh, shout out to Becky. Yeah, Becky. Woo, Becky. <laughs> but yeah, uh, they came up to the bar. We sat down and said, "Yeah, can we?" You know, they they, they thought we were a restaurant. Oh. That's what they know about Leftwoods. Uh, I was like, "Well, we don't have, we can't donate any food." <laughs> But if you want to have some bands get together, we can help make some money. But for we can get later. drunk and charge people to come listen to us. <laughs> well, then we knew we had a lot of artist friends. We have people in a lot of other industries that we knew we would donate to this. And I think we can help make a lot of money for this group. That's, sure. great. that's, that's great. Yeah. I've, 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 and we try to stick only local. Try to. I mean, Right, right, right. You know, I've, I've, I've played a few of these uh, Emerald Housing uh, uh, first shows. Yeah, I'm a zombies a lot, too. You know, it's pretty cool. I, I usually do an acoustic oh, yeah. set. They do a lot of work over there, for sure. Yeah. Uh, what was that joint over? Uh, it was. Uh, it's XR now. Before that, it was Tom and Jerry's or something like Burberry's. that. Oh. Burberry's. Oh, but it was called. It was called Tom and Jerry's for a little yeah, while. Yeah, Tom and Jerry's. It was Butler's. It was Butler's. Burberry's. It was Brewster's. You know, Brewster's. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that Brewster's. joint, you know, that they that would, we. I think that was the first first big one that I played there, and uh, they always, you know, they always take care of the artists. It's always, but it's always super fun, you know, to get. To get all these just amalgamations of music from you know just different different corners and genres and everybody has a lot of fun you know just kind of come together on it. Um, okay, well uh, I think uh, we're about twenty in. The uh, again the show is uh, Saturday, January twenty sixth. Uh, doors are at six p.m. First band goes on at seven. Uh, Do man's going to kick things off. Uh, look for links below to all the musicians on here. Remember to check out all these artists, uh, well, the ones that will get off their butts and record something. <laughs> uh, and, uh, uh, We're in the process. On the Amarillo Rocks I podcast. I got some shit. <laughs> There'll be links below. Uh, you know, be sure to, you know, and again, like and share. Uh, you know, we want to get everyone out there to check all these great artists out. Uh, you know, uh, my band's going to be playing, too, if you really uh, want your ears to bleed. Uh and on that, I think we're good here, guys. Uh, awesome. I appreciate everyone coming out. Awesome. Justin, Brian, Eddie, Gordo, Becky. Hey, we'll see you all Jenny. Saturday night. Come Saturday on. night is the place to be. We are going to have a lot of fun. We're going to do a lot of good. So thanks, everyone, for paying attention to Amarillo Rocks, and we hope everyone has a good time. All right. <laughs> Cut from there. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Still graphic media, so that's okay. Uh -oh. yeah, in five minutes, he's whoa, whoa, whoa! There's a comedian. <laughs> four, 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 four comedians. comedians. Four who, 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 I didn't know this. Here? I didn't know who's the comedian. Yeah, where's the posters at? Um, they're in the car. We've got uh, Matt Diaz hosting with Tyler Valentine, and then we've got. Look at yourself. Dude, my eyes kept falling. Here, come on, come on, come on. Like I was on the tail end. Sit on my face. Yeah, this is this is Becky. Weird. Okay. So I was just like, I'm just going to look down. <laughs> Matt Villegas, <laughs> Tyler Valentine, is Skyler going to be in it? No, Skyler could not. But Matt Villegas and Tyler Valentine are hosting. And then, yeah, there we are. Thomas Thompson. we got Thomas Thompson and um, Nikita Webster doing oh. bits in between the bands. The comedians will get up between while well, y'all are changing yeah. instruments well, and whatnot. Well, in between sets, okay. Yeah. We're going to... Uh, I'll put a uh, I'll put a link to this uh, underneath the uh, the video also, so you guys can see everything that's going on. Thank you for that. I didn't I didn't know that stuff, so that's that's awesome. So there's gonna be there's gonna be a ton of entertainment at this show, comedy, music, uh, silent auctions. Uh, there's gonna be burlesque side Completely shows. Completely local. Three dollars off all the buckets. Three dollars off all buckets. I didn't know that. Okay. Yes, yes. So uh, uh, twenty three beers on tap. Didn't know that. Okay. I did not know that either. Yeah, 23 beers on tap, free pool right now. Yeah, you still have a bastard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
I do not have Eric and Bastard, oh, yeah. but I've got some pretty weird stuff, some really good stuff. No domestics. What's the stripper dust? Is this stripper dust has passed, oh. unfortunately. Oh. I'm about to have a, uh, a Willy Wonka inspired chocolate stout on. Far out, okay. Oh, it's going to be fun. And he had oh. the Hemperator, that hip The hip Nah, yeah. the hip I think I'm going to have to yeah. skip some carbs yeah, and enjoy that. Time. Oh, no. we're going down. We're going down. The pizza booth. No doubt. Okay, down. now I'm going to shut up. Emerlo, come out to Left Woods Saturday at 6 p.m. Uh, have a good time. Uh, buy some art, hear some music, and have some fun with us. Cheers. Cheers, Mike.